testing. Yo, what up, guys? Mystic Grass here, back from MVR Starcats. Back with a, another mastery video for the season 4 changes in the patch 3.14 and upwards and onwards. I've covered most of them. I've already covered the tanky top, but I didn't cover the sort of AD tops of your champions like your Riven, Lee Sin, anyone who has kind of high burst and you're kind of not going to really go tanky with. This should really cover it. Pretty similar to my AD carry masteries that you kind of choose. Um, but a couple of little tweaks here and there. Your AD carry ones would kind of be more suited maybe to a Jace, but even these ones could work well with Jace. It kind of depends what you want to get. They all kind of do the same sort of thing. But anyway, kicking it off, we have 21 points in the offense tree, taking one out of one in double edged sword uh, for your melee champion. Uh, get generally, who you're going to be, I guess, on top on this, so your Jace, but melee you deal an additional 2% damage and receive an additional 1% damage. So, really nice, especially if you don't take any damage, you know, that's 2% additional damage at free um, and even in trading you're only you're still going to be doing more damage than what your opponent is so works out really nicely in that respect um, along from that I take four points out of four on sorcery so um, in my AD carry ones I normally take four or four points in fury for the attack speed but uh, you don't really uh, like I say this way maybe with Jace you could go for the AD ones but I think the cooldown reduction the five percent cooldown reduction you get at max level is really nice but champions like Riven it means you can QQ more and uh, Lee Sin and what any champion cooldown is always nice um, moving down the tree then three out of three points in brute force ten attack damage at level 18 that's uh, 0.55 attack damage per level really nice uh, that's what you want to, have to be taking and then moving down from there I then take a point in spell weaving um, the one out of one damage in any champion with a basic attack increases spell damage by 1% stacking up to three times max 3% damage increase so again really nice for champions like your Riven really or any anyone where you can kind of cast moves pretty quickly um, they all sort of Every little bit counts. Uh, then moving on from there, I take one out of one on the martial mastery, uh, increase my attack damage by five. So obviously with the brute force mastery point, that gives us 15 additional attack damage by level 18, and 5.55 at level one. Uh, from the right hand side of that, I then take three out of three points in execution, and increases damage out to champions below 50%. Health by 5%, again, really nice. It allows you to kill enemy champions quicker when they're low, which, you know, in sort of could be the sort of turning point when sort of uh, dueling with someone when you have low health and they do. Then I like to take 3 out of 3 points in Warlord because it's kind of, I think, the sickest mastery point. Look at it, it's just a massive Warlord. What more do you want? But that increases bonus attack damage by 5%, so really OP. To the right of that, I then take 1 out of 1 in the Dangerous game because we're dangerous. Killing the Champion restores 5% missing health and mana. Really nice. Um, could be the difference in a team fight, what could change everything. Or it could be the, the difference in killing the Champion in the lane and not getting killed by the uh, OP minions. Um, from there, I then look to f take 3 out of 3 points in Devastating Strikes, increasing your 6 armor and magic penetration. Generally, you, you're going to be playing AD, you may have a little 1 AP move, so it's not really important, but it's all important for the armor penetration, that 6% is really nice. That's really good. Um, and then on, on top of that, you uh, take a final point in Havoc, which is 1 out of 1, uh, increasing damage by 3%, so a really nice kind of mastery point, and that sums up all 21 you want to take in the offense tree, so kind of similar to your AD carry, but obviously with the tweaks in the sort of cooldown reduction, and also the point and spell weaving kind of being the main difference. And then I then look to take 9 points down the defense tree, leaving 0 in utility, because fuck you. Fuck, who needs a utility? Um, so, the 9 points in defense tree, starting off with 2 out of 2 in block, reduces income and damage from champion base attacks by 2, very nice. Moving to the right of that, 2 out of 2 enchanted armor, increases bonus armor and magic resistance by 5%. You know, every, again, every little counts, that 5% is quite an amount. And moving down, I go for unyielding, uh, that basically for immediate champions reduces all incoming and damage from champions by 2. So, again, really nice, kind of working well with block. And then look to get veteran scars, max level 3 out of 3 points in that with uh, the 36 health that we gain at max level. And then I then look to take a point in juggernaut for my last point in the defensive tree, um, the 1 out of 1, which gives me plus 3% maximum health, which is really kind of, again, really nice. And that pretty much wraps all the, the mastery points that you need to know for when choosing a top lane. 
AD sort of bruiser like your Rivens, your Lee Sins, Jaxes and kind of so forth so forth so hopefully that's explained it like I said it was pretty similar to the AD carry one but there was some little tweaks here and there so hopefully that's all you need to know if you have any questions do you stuck with anything drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you when I can so have a good day take it easy peace